Welcome back and welcome if you're new to my channel. I'm your go-to for all things normally beauty and skincare, but today we're gonna talk about fragrance because I wanna talk about this one, which is by Juliet Has a Gun and it's called Not a Perfume. That to me was just fascinating. And I wanna talk to you about this because I have a unique situation where my husband detests perfume. He's very sensitive. He just doesn't like a lot of strong flavors. He tends to usually like light, crisp, fruity, airy, clean smelling perfume. And this one was so unique, I had to go out and try it. So you have to stay tuned till the end of the video to see if he actually liked it because this is truly not a perfume. Juliet Has a Gun is a niche perfume brand and it was founded in 2006 by Romano Ricci the great-grandson of the legendary Nina Ricci. The name Juliet Has a Gun is inspired by Shakespeare's tragic heroine Juliet, but with a modern twist. This brand embodies the idea of a strong, independent woman in control of her destiny. What's more powerful than a woman with a metaphorical gun? Her perfume. This particular perfume, not a perfume, was launched in 2010 and quickly became their signature scent. Now, of course, I bought the 7.5 mils because I wanted to test to be sure my husband can tolerate before I invest in a larger size. That is always my approach to perfume. Test it out to see if you like it first because when you smell it in the store, it'll be very different than how it translates on your skin. And that couldn't be more the case than with a perfume like this that's not a perfume. So why is it called not a perfume? Well, it's all about simplicity and minimalism. Unlike traditional perfumes that are created using a blend of ingredients, lots of different notes and scents in their composition, this particular one is different because it contains just one note and it's called Cetalox. This is what got me interested in this particular brand and perfume because the fact that it was using one note, the fact that it's really touting itself as being very pure and renegade in that composition just had me very intrigued. Cetalox, also known as Ambroxan, is a synthetic molecule that's meant to mimic the scent of ambergris, which is a substance produced by sperm whales. Ambergris has been used in perfumery for centuries, prized for its warm and musty scent but also for its ability to fix and enhance other fragrances. However, ambergris is very difficult to harvest. It's very rare. It's coming from sperm whales so it's also going to be very expensive. Having a synthetic alternative like Cetalox is a great sustainable and more affordable option. What makes not a perfume so radical is its simplicity. In a market that's very saturated with very complex and sometimes overwhelming fragrances, this smell stands out by being very minimalist. And it's hypoallergenic and can often be used by people who are very sensitive to perfumes, which is what interested me in the first place because of my husband. The genius behind this creation was by Romano Ricci himself. His vision was to strip away all the superfluous elements of a perfume yet keep a singular note that could be sophisticated and still elegant. Not a perfume actually challenges the notion of what a conventional perfume should be. It's understated and most describe it as alluring. It's almost that je ne sais quoi. People who love not a perfume describe it as being very clean and subtle and blending in with your own skin chemistry and that's sort of the point behind this particular ingredient that is meant to enhance what's existing and so when it's placed on your own skin it's enhancing your own sort of scent trail. So kind of meant to blend seamlessly with your own skin rather than overpowering it. And sort of that whole concept of less is more, although more on that in just a moment from my own perspective. I will say, for those of you who want a unique signature scent that's kind of out of the norm and not something you smell every day, this is definitely an option for you. I tried this when I purchased it in the car because I couldn't wait. I sampled it in the store, I smelt it, I really liked it, purchased it, got it in the car, put it on and throughout the day really, really smelt it. On me, I found it very overpowering actually. I've heard that some people can be nose blind to this. That was not the case for me. It continued throughout the day and had a very, very long lasting effect. But the ultimate test was when I got home and as soon as I walked in the door, my husband immediately said with a bit of disdain, what are you wearing? <laughs> So to say he didn't like this perfume was an understatement. It didn't have the clean sort of light and airy feel that I thought it was gonna have. Very hard to describe this one. 
I think for me, the musky part really comes through. Not light and airy, more musky. Making it a great base note as well if you want to layer it with other lighter scents on top. I tried layering it with a citrus on top and I found this really came through really powerfully. Rather than amplifying the lemon or citrus scent, I still was getting a very, very strong base musky note. Maybe that's my own personal smell coming through, I don't know. So my final thoughts on this, I actually like the smell in very small doses. The only way I was able to get away wearing it and liking it myself was spraying it in the air and just gently putting my wrist through the air. And I found that wherever I sprayed it in the house, I tried it in different rooms actually because in our bedroom, my husband was like, this is disgusting, get it out of here. So I tried it in different rooms. That scent lingered in that room till the following day, I could still smell it there. So to say this is long lasting is definitely the understatement. However, for me, I liked the scent when it was layered under something a little bit more bright, light and floral. So if I wasn't married, I could bring this back into my fragrance routine. But enough about what I think about this fragrance. I really want to hear what you think. If you tried it, drop your experiences in the comment section below because for me, when I'm looking for a perfume, I always like to see how it translates on different people's skin. Everybody has a different experience when it comes to their own body chemistry and how it mixed with perfume. So I'd love if we can create a good comment section here so other people who are looking to purchase this can read other people's experiences. If you haven't watched these videos, be sure to watch them next. Thanks as always for watching and I hope you have a fabulous day.